Hello everyone, I'm a very warm welcome to WS Tube So guys, in our previous session, we have covered that how we can resize the images. Now in our today's session, we will be talking about how we can blur the images. So guys, at certain time, we need to blur the images. For example, if you have, if you have an image, for, suppose if you have an image which has a strong ends and if you want to blur it, then image blurring can be used. Also, you might have seen when a police catches a criminal, uh, they blur the face of the criminal by using the blurring technique. Same blurring can be achieved using the CV2 module. So we will be having a look on that, that how we can blur an image. Or, so we will be looking on that in this session, that how we can blur an image using CV2. So let's have a look on how it can be done. To blur an image in CV2, first of all, let's import CV2. Also, we will be importing NumPy, import NumPy as N. Once we are done with this, let's first have a look at the original image. So, I'll be creating a variable called as image. Inside this, I'll be writing cv.imd. And first, we need to read the image. That's why I'll be passing there. And here, I will be passing the location. So, the location over here is this. And also, I'll, and also I'll convert these forward, actually backward slashes to the forward slashes. Once we are done with this, we'll be writing the name of the file so the name of the file is ramming language dot png okay let's read this image here for that i'll be writing cv2 dot i am show now let's show this image over here for that i'll be writing cv2 dot i am show and here inside this i'll be passing a variable called as original that this is the original image and let's pass the image variable here and i'll be writing cv2 dot wait key to let make the image stop over here for a while and as soon as I run it you can see this is the image that I have achieved okay this is the original image now let's talk about the different kinds of blur that we can apply on it so we have a Gaussian blur we have a median blur and also we have a bilateral filter by using all three of them you can achieve a blur now now Gaussian blur is a little bit different in Gaussian blur what happens it keeps the center area mostly blur then the top bottom left and right area are a little less blurred and the edges over here are blurred a little bit more or less. So here we will be applying the Gaussian blur. For that I will be creating a variable called as Gaussian. Gaussian is equals to CV2 dot capital G Gaussian capital B blur. And here I will be passing my image with two parameters 7,7 7 and 0. So after this one more thing that we need to do over here is let's change this to Gaussian and also change this. To Gaussian. Now let's try and see what output we'll get here. Let me just close this one and as soon as I, as I close this, I'll get the new image over here. And I have written blue instead of blur, so I'll just make it right and run it again. So now as soon as I'll run it, I'll get an image which looks like this. That mostly the, the, the more blur you'll see in the area at the center, then a lesser little, little less blur on the top. And in the bottom, and a little and a little bit more less blur in the edges over here. This is how our Gaussian blur works. And if I want to move it to 3, 3, and now if I run it, just close this one. And if I run it, you can see now it is a little less blur. And as soon as, if you will reduce this number by whatever you want, so you can, uh, by whatever number you want, you can reduce it as well. Moving ahead and talking about the median blur. So how does this median blur work is very simple that uh, all you need to do is write median blur instead over here. I will be writing median blur. And here all we need to do is pass single variable. Let's take it as 5. Okay. And I'll just change this to median. This will be your median blur. Now where does this median blur is used? In, uh, in smoothening of images it is mostly used. And if I run it. Let me just close this one. As soon as I run it you can see a blurry image like this has been created. And if I reduce it to maybe like 2. And run it again. Just close this one again. Let's make it 2 here. And let's run it again. So as you can see, a uh, uh, medium blur looks like this. That here the image is uh, blurred over here. And if I talk about lastly the bilateral filter. So I'll be writing bilateral capital F filter. Here with the image I'll be passing parameters like I'll be passing 6 here comma 75 comma 75. And this will be bilateral. So I'll be writing bilateral here. And as soon as I run it, we just close this one. So this is how the bilateral filter looks like. So bilateral filter looks like this, that the images are blurred like this. And you can just reduce or increase according to yourself. So I can just keep it there over here and let me just remove this one. And if I run it again, so this is how it looks like. So you can change it according to your choice as well. This is how bilateral filter looks like. Okay. So hope you have understood all the three types of blur that we have over here. That is first one is Gaussian, second one is median. 
and the third one over here is bilateral fit and i hope you have no doubts in your questions as well in our next session we are going to talk about more functions related to cv2 so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you